Jones. Yeah. Tom, I got one other story. Okay. All right. I think I'm we're having just... way, way too much fun. So <laughs> go ahead, man. I'm going to do just it. quickly share the screen. You'll find him on Sooner Politics. This do guy, it. Steve Bias, he's my mentor. This guy's been doing journalism and politics yeah. since the 78, 1978. This yeah. guy is a mentor. What he he's calling on the uh, state Republican Party to end this love affair with electronic voting. And uh, because at our state convention, we've got some things going on here where they're going to take away Rhonda's authority to oversee her Tulsa County delegation. Because the rules of the party, the constitutional bylaws of the party, allow each county delegation to conduct their own delegation elections and then report in roll call the votes of the county. The, sure. There are many reasons why you do it this way, because everybody's in the room, they're facing each other, and that way anybody in the county can challenge the report. Let's say Rhonda gets the numbers flipped. Right away, you can call on. This electronic voting is ripe for all kinds of problems, and it requires you to take a mandatory class ahead of time in order to vote, which is another violation of, of the state bylaws. And then thirdly, you have to have electronic device and it has to be powered up and stay powered up enough, even though they aren't guaranteeing us a way to recharge our phones. Regardless the, uh, of yeah, the relationship well, between the voter and the government is like a marriage and you can't do it virtually. You got to do it face to face. Yeah. Well, I will say, I will say to this, um, although, although the recharging aspect is something that, that, that Lori and I at constitutional grounds are taking seriously and working on, um, visit our table at the, at the Republican party convention, um, because we're going to be passing out not only conventions in shameless English, plug in English shameless. and Spanish, but we will also, um, we are also working on a recharging station and other things yeah. there. But, but <clears throat> the other thing is, the other thing is, and, and I spoke with, with our state chairman this weekend uh, about this very issue and with Rhonda, because Rhonda was there and expressing calls that she had gotten yep. about this very issue. Be and especially on the heels of so many problems at the national level, yeah. right? And so many people yeah. activated because of this issue. And so what we're working on doing is actually, is actually um, being able to demonstrate that the system is secure and that the system actually, well, everybody can check their own personal vote yeah. and that the, at the, then, then the math is presented visually so everybody can do the math that that's all a moot point if you're oh. violating the bylaws number one and number two uh not even following proper process in making changes even if the people do decide to do this okay in that and, and that was something that i had not considered we'll have to talk afterwards because because that is that is an important so uh, you're the, listening to a spat between david van and david <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you don't think so. That's my job as host is to build this mountain out of a molehill. There they are fighting, scratching each other's eyes out. There was near death on 3D politics live on Monday night. Thank God Rhonda wasn't here to see you guys fight. Is this quick trip? Because people thought we were fighting in quick trip when we were yeah, actually in total agreement. <laughs> yeah, eight years yeah, the, ago. It's the only two <laughs> things I miss when I leave Tulsa, and that is quick trip and fine airport parking. Other than that, there's nothing to get here. Stick around, guys. Wait a minute. We got a little break here. You know what? Every week on Facebook Live, 3D Politics comes to you. <laughs> Look at that. Van's got it all lit up. That's I made right. that logo all by myself. Dude, Van, that is one of the best logos I ever. Not 3D not politics. Boring. The American Constitutional Republic. Affairs of state in Oklahoma. The beliefs, principles, opinions, and views of people just like you. But not me. Because <laughs> I'm your host, Tommy McKay, the verbal Viking comedian, political humorist, father of five and one day I ran for mayor and then also David Van creator of Sooner Politics 
expert on Oklahoma state government, running currently for state vice chair in Oklahoma GOP, and David Oldham, founder, scholar, constitutionalgrounds.com, political leader, educational speaker, former electoral college member of the state of Oklahoma. So here we are again, rocking it. We just, what I've noticed about this great group that we have here at 3D Politics is it never ends. <laughs> it never ends. When we hang up, we continue. And then when we come back together, I tell them, don't start yet. Wait till the show happens. And then we go and then we go for two hours and Rhonda comes and goes and then we keep going and then sure. later when we hang up Lori tells david shut up oh, i don't even care anymore the dog look how cute the dog is. buffy's the cutest one i've ever seen <laughs> that's not what we're idiot. talking about you got a license you for your eaten, dog you should have seen her eating waffles no don't you dare people. try to commandeer this show <laughs> the cute dog i can't compete with that crap you saw how easily ronda still <laughs> stiff our feet it was bad out there what, what i want to say though to okay to back to business damn it the boss yeah, is here well, go ahead I, I'm, this you know convention week i'm gonna be busy campaigning this is you are working life. your ass off that's uh, right. yeah there's a lot of running around you're going doing on. a lot but i, I want to tell you steve bias one of the most respected historians of our state party and in a wise wise council what he had to say here is very important i think there's probably going to be a challenge on the rules committee report to, and to recall, you know, a call to strike those blanks and return it back to each county delegation just to simply do their own vo voting and count up their own ballots and have the chairman report. Okay, uh, Oldham, are you following him? You know what uh, he's talking about? Yeah, I, I know perfectly well what he's talking about. Well, uh, explain it to me because I am lost. Okay, so what happens, what happens every time is a vote for whatever issue comes up. And it's usually a vote for a particular position, but it yeah. could be a vote that is taken for a particular issue that um, is of import and needs to have a vote taken. Whatever That's comes before the body. Well, we do and, voice and, vote and, and standing vote it and then it may go to roll call. And if it goes to roll call, what happens is every county will, will then... Um, will then count up their own votes and then go to the microphone and report what their votes are to then tabulated as okay. reported, okay. etc. Okay, so the thing is, it takes a very long period of time. What is what what the the state party apparatus is trying to implement is something that is being done already within the um, the legislature basically an electronic voting where it goes directly to the board and everybody can see right. their own particular vote, their own personal vote, but it, it goes directly there and it, it, it saves time. Yeah. So the, <laughs> yeah. the question is, the question is threefold as I see it. First, does, <laughs> do, the, do the rules allow this change? Number two, is it a good change? And number three, should we entertain a, a who a, has the a, authority, a David? Uphold the rules. Who okay. has the authority to make the change? That's the most That's fundamental. Thing. All within the rules, and I completely agree with everything you're saying. Yeah. Well, the here's my. Well, what's your it, What's your contention, it, man? Well, here's the thing. If you have a question about how the voting's done in your county, and by the way, this is vastly different from the legislature in that we go as delegations of counties, unlike legislators who are each part of a committee of the whole. So, okay, a, now that is why people tune in to 3D politics okay. is because <laughs> public schools don't teach you the important right. stuff. Right. What did you just say? The difference between what is what because one represents the body of the whole and right. one represents the other. What did yes. you say? Well, okay. You've watched a national presidential party convention. Remember, Mr. Chairman, the great state of Ohio, the state of the Buckeyes, da, 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 cast so many votes. That's called the roll call. That is where they're announcing. 
But here's the thing. If you're part of that delegation, you know that somebody in your delegation reported your delegation votes. If you have any questions, you can immediately question it when they give that roll call or you can repoll your people. You know that your election hand was handled locally within your county delegation instead of you trying to get justice from the state if something's wrong. You know, this is not this. Which body? Okay, I, I, I don't know what I did here, but because I care. <laughs> no, <laughs> Which body is the body? Let me, let me explain. Let me. Explain did you understand my question, Oldham? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. So here's here's the 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 issue. The issue is whether or not your vote is cast and counted by your local chairman, your local county chairman, and then reported to the body in general, the, the convention in general, or okay. whether your vote goes directly to the convention in general. And the, idea, the problem is, could there be problems in the mathematics? So to, to clarify the difference, to clarify the difference, the one that goes directly is what Oldham was saying, that your vote is only with the body. Basically, and the well, one that goes the other the way, way, the one that complex. goes, the, and the other one that goes the other way is the one that you now, have more control as an now individual. Here's the, here's the problem. And I, I give this example a lot because you can report your votes, correct? Okay. Okay. You can report your votes exactly as they were cast. And you mm -hmm. can have your vote cast. You can verify your vote is, was cast exactly. But they can still mess with the numbers. And we've seen this in various elections. Mm -hmm. The biggest one was the main vote for Ron Paul in 2012. Mm -hmm. What happened was he actually won the, the caucus vote in Maine. But, but they, the, the, state party wanted somebody else to get the yeah. credit and get the news cycle. Yeah. And so they reported a different number yeah. that then was reported by all the mathematics, by everybody who reported. Yeah. They, they had tried to manipulate things so that nobody would catch it. Well, but people caught it yeah. and reported it to the national media and it became a big, a big thing. Yeah. But Someone got the news cycle. Ron Paul didn't, and someone, yeah. the other person, moved up. Yeah, Ron Paul. all right, Van. What do you, you got? Well. But okay, so a number of things that can break down in this: people's phones just the battery goes dead. Um, the Wi-Fi has a problem, whether it's either the building's Wi-Fi or your own cellular data. We Correct. don't know if it's going to handle that capacity. Uh, number three could be a problem in their system, but there's no paper backup. And, uh, you know, it just one person has a technological problem. Maybe it's their device. Uh, this is a difficulty. If somebody says, wait a minute, I'm not getting through. It's not taking it. There, there's just all kinds of potential problems with it. Where simply casting a ballot and giving it to your county chairman. Uh, you know, the whole process is usually 30 to 40 minutes at most. Uh, and we have Her about three vote. votes we have to take three roll call votes to take generally speaking yeah now they could be as many as half a dozen depending upon who's you know who it manages to get the convention to maybe consider extra votes yeah. but the the point is the important votes there are three after that there could be more but the three important votes, votes there well the votes for the for the chair office. and vice chair that's two chair and vice for chair who else um well platform committee and uh, and rules those those typically are usually done on voice voters those standing. go just by voice voice votes they or could be they could be called but could. that depends yeah could be. I don't this is the seen. real this is the real filet mignon the people that tune into yeah. 3d politics to yeah. try to follow but, this so, kind of minutiae yeah the, the, here's the here's the thing here's what i want to get oh at my God. In Oldham, you crazy. can attest to you've seen enough we've seen county republican parties try to encroach and take over the autonomy and authority of the precinct uh 
party organization. And now we're seeing the state encroaching and take over in some of the functions of the county party. And this is a problem with a person like me who back in the 80s and my very first orientation, I was told this is a bottoms up party. Everything starts at the precinct and the power and authority emanates from there. And the precinct is the supreme authority, and this is a quote, the supreme authority of the Republican party in each precinct is the precinct committee. And so we have yeah. to respect that and not have a county taking over a precinct function, like saying, no, you're meeting this night at this location, miles away from your precinct, which is a violation of our bylaws. Okay, now we're, seeing, now we're seeing some of it at the state level. We're saying, no, <laughs> chairman, you're not going to pull your delegation anymore. We decided without a state committee vote, we decided that well, you're not going to. Now, mind you, I would love it if if Oklahoma did a convention, a real convention that went a weekend, a full weekend, yeah, like Texas does. Okay, and so we could do these kinds of votes and take the time we need and have entertainment in between yeah. and all of the other, you know, the things that Texas okay. does. Texas, okay. Texas, Texas has a Texas. panhandle. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Two that's how they afford it. But here's the thing: when you're trying to get it done all by three o'clock, we've got to think outside the box. And, no. and I understand the rules don't necessarily Listen, allow for it, but we've got to figure out what are we going to do. Let's and, talk about this. COVID, are we going to allow it? Okay, Oldham. Two years ago, we got out of there at three o'clock, and <laughs> we had three votes. We went one ballot on chair, two ballots on vice chair. And likely it'll flip the other way this time, but Correct. it's three votes. Everything else went fine. We're looking for a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. This is oh. my thing. But wow. again, I'll do whatever whatever the convention floor decides. But ultimately, and, ultimately, it is the floor of the convention, the delegates, right. that will decide right. what the rules are. Not right. the current party chair, not right. the current executive committee or central committee. The Correct. delegates decide. Correct. It will yep. be. It will be the delegates, even even if it ends up in a in a mass confusion. It yep. will be the it will be the convention that decides. Yeah. And and this is the beauty because because these are convention rules. We can dis, we can change things up, and 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 again because I'm thinking constitutionally. These are political decisions. You cannot make a convention political. rule that violates the state bylaws of the party. Out of the box for Oldham is not thinking constitutionally. Yeah. Hey, no. Because That's the one is, day this he's is not, not a constitutional Oldham. issue. Yeah. This no. Is a, this no, is just subjective. For Oldham, for Oldham to say I'm thinking constitutionally is like, well, you know. Right. <laughs> But Out of the box for Oldham is like I'm not I'm not constitutional. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. thing is Oldham's lost get, his mind. <laughs> I don't care if you get sixty percent of the people or seventy percent say they're fine with the rules. When there are certain rights that a county delegation has, other counties can't vote to take theirs away without going through the amendment I, process. I love um, hearing Van say that other I, people can't vote away. You're right. Yes. I like I when that. you two guys. I, I, I feel I like a real matchmaker. You in this discussion, Oldham. I'm like a matchmaker. I'm like a little cupid, <laughs> shooting heart, little arrows into the hearts of these two guys. Uh, David Van, creator of SoonerPolitics.org, and David Oldham, founder and scholar at ConstitutionalGrounds.com. Me. Tommy, your fine host and Cupid, yeah. bringing all things together for love uh, right there at verbalviking.com. So I love it when you guys agree, agree. But I will tell you this. I think one of the things I've learned, and 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 tell me if I'm you think I'm on it or not, but the vagaries of our uh, representative republic, that is that there are vague issues. You guys argue over things because it's not – locked down like Hitler would do. It's not it's not all black lined to where Oldham everything would is, have you think it is very clear. No, his clarity, Oldham's clarity is on is, is on demanding the vagaries. 
And, and that is that we have to allow these freedoms. And what I keep continue to like about our system and that our founding fathers gave us is that these states have their areas and these precincts have their areas. The counties have their, all these areas have their areas. And, and, and within those, those lack of perfect definition, like a dictator would do, there are vagaries. And this is what allows our freedom. Water finds its way through the path of least resistance. Mm -hmm. and, and when there's not every single thing locked down, then there's some freedom around here. Yeah. And I love when you guys agree on protecting the vagaries of our system. Yeah. And, and yeah. I want to say, I had a proposal for a change of the state rule. I have gone through the proper process. I'll have to say humbly, I have, I have passed more amendments to our state party rules than anyone. And I have a respect for the proper order of the way you do things. <laughs> yes. Crap. So, I did it again. Look at me take credit. <laughs> okay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I had a very important party uh, rule amendment. That I Hold them. That's not allowed on the show. Well, you, yeah. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold them. You're gonna have to cut off your 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 camera <laughs> and your mic. <laughs> then suck an empty straw wait, wait. while you so that you don't interrupt Van. I am trying to say I am not using Coke. Products. Try to be okay. less white, Old. Okay. Go ahead, I, Van. This is my wrap up on this. I've changed the party rules the right way several times, respecting the process. And I had a very important party rule proposal that I brought to my precinct meeting, only to be told by my chairman, uh, not Rhonda, but the previous chairman, that no, he made a rule that you had to present it two days before your precinct meeting. But keep in mind, the rule has always been you had to have it passed at a precinct meeting first. Please, this sounds like Catholic dogma. Go ahead. Right. But here's the thing. When you <laughs> shut out from people the proper and orderly way to change the bylaws, now you have, I, I could think the of a lot of words. Rule? Yeah. There you go. You said you, that. You think you think like like the judiciary did with the election okay. in Pennsylvania? Well, what you're saying is they create the problem. They create, they make it impossible for you to use the constitutional means to amend the constitution. Right. And yet right. they flaunt the constitution and just make up new rules that weren't passed in an orderly and constitutional way. Correct. So I'm only saying this. Look, I can deal with either way at this convention. <laughs> but I want the people of Oklahoma to know, the Republicans of Oklahoma, this is not the way that I will approve of doing business as well, part of the state central committee. All right, and Oldham. In this, in, this, in this, David and I are completely and 100% in agreement. <clears throat> Lawlessness is always the problem. It's, yeah. you know, and, and I've been talking to people about right. this. All for weeks, and, and it's not about anarchy, it's about lawlessness. And this is the key word yeah. lawlessness. People want to do things their own way, irrespective of the rules. Yeah, and 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 it's like, well, that's lawless, so let's okay. stick with the rules. Yeah, let's change the rules if we need to because oh, the yeah. rules can be changed. So, so, just like 3D politics, you two guys are the bricks, and I am the grout. Okay. I fill in the little things, and what I, and, and so when when you say, uh, <laughs> damn it, uh, uh, damn it. <laughs> it was good. I'm sure it was. And what it has to do with is that arbitrary. No, because be here's, here, I didn't lose it. I was just overwhelmed with emotion. The 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 bricks are held together by the things in between, and when you say lawlessness. People do not recognize, like I do, the grout. Arbitrary enforcement of law is lawlessness. When they don't enforce uh, accurately and consistently, when sometimes you're in trouble and sometimes you're not, when they pull you over to give you a turkey instead of a ticket, that is arbitrary enforcement of law. And that is lawlessness. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Right. It's absolutely lawlessness 
People who want a turkey and think a cop should do something nice for you when they give you a turkey don't see that as arbitrary enforcement of the law. When you get pulled over and you're like, oh, thank God I got a turkey. No, you should say, give me an effing ticket because you shouldn't be pulled over for arbitrary enforcement of the law to pretend you're my daddy going to give me a frozen turkey to feed my family. I'm over it. Okay, so... You're getting back to Steve Bias, because he called me on Are we this. talking about Steve right Bias? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, about the Constitution. He's got an email saying it's mandatory for every delegate to log in, to sign up for, and watch a Zoom meeting, a class, on how to use the electronic system. Steve Bias says, I'm not doing that. He says, since 1976, I've only missed one Republican state convention. He says, I may be kicked out of this one, but I don't care. I am not doing it. And this well, is sad. Well, here's the thing. I don't know about anybody being kicked out. Um, Did you I'm, not read the word required meeting? Uh, hey, Oldham, no, go I on. Have not, I have not seen a single email. Oh, so anyway, you haven't heard out. anybody of us quick out what? Well, I have. So I tell you, well, it was said to be okay, required. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing I've heard. We have 2,600, over 2,600 people who have signed up to come to the meeting, yep. to the, the, the state convention. 2,600. Yeah. We haven't had that since 2012 presidential election, yeah. come to a state convention. That's how fired up people are. Yeah. Now, whether, I do not see, I, don't, I have not heard, I will have to look now that you are bringing it up. <laughs> I have not seen as a credentialing requirement that in order to be credentialed, I have to have, I have to have attended the Zoom meeting. Well, then not, you're not up to speed. I'm telling okay, you, it's black I'm not and white. It's an email sent because, every day. Because boom, throw down. I am not, I am not qualified to credential because okay. I haven't gone either. Okay, let's talk the hypothetically meeting. then, Oldham. If a okay. chairman sends that out to every delegate and says it's required, even though he has no authority to require it. And it's only right. when the rules committee meets and then when the rules are presented on the floor and they're passed, then what you have is an ex post facto law. Correct. And you're enough of a constitutionalist, you know there's a ban on ex post facto Well, you have, a, you have a problem with people not showing up thinking that they aren't allowed because they haven't done something. And, and Look, there, therein, lies, therein lies the problem is people won't show up who should be there and would be there except for the supposed the, the they think reported, they can't show up. It's it's no different than the mask law, and the mask with the mask ordinances dictates that go out. It's all BS. They can still go out and do whatever they no. want to do. It's a rule three B violation. It's a rule three B violation of our state party bylaws. Okay. Anybody who does that to anyone is automatically kicked out of any leadership role. Furthermore, any number of Oklahoma re Republican voters can now sue the state for violating their right to full access just on that. Hmm. Well, I'm well, sorry, but it's true. No, no. Let's talk after the show because because after the show, you liars! You told me you weren't gonna ever talk. I, I don't want to have there. to be dealing with lawsuits that Look, are caused by a predecessor administration. Okay, I literally am not. I cannot follow each one of your in-depth uh, arguments back and forth because I'm the host, and that is not my job. Well, if I you am can't like follow the it, audience. Nobody else is either. No, 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 no. That's not true. There's audience members that are smarter no, than me. Know. My job is to is to try to explain to those that are uh, me uh, and what's going on. So so what I well here's my question. I literally cannot believe we're here. You guys are defining the vagaries that I mentioned earlier with such great love. Where does Robert's rules of order come in when there okay. are no explanations? of said get together Great i got question. Put, question. i got Great put question. down by an old woman in a shawl Here. at a pta meeting when she said that she would not allow a showing of hands okay and i was like you can't do that and she could actually okay. according to robert's rules of orders so, because yeah. i didn't yes. offer the motion and then get a second well, yeah that's tom a they speak issue, specifically well, to that <laughs> and here's what our state bylaws say now 
setting aside anything about criminal legality with state and federal statutes. So let's put that aside because that always crumbs, right? A different thing. Okay. Right. So your most direct ruling has to do with the convention rules passed at the beginning of the convention. Okay, but they have to be in keeping with the state constitution of the party, which is our state party bylaws. Those Correct. are permanent. Those are our charter founding documents. Correct. And then, and then any matter that hasn't been spoken to directly by either the state party rules or the convention rules falls back on Robert's rules of order. Thank you, host Tommy McKay, Verbal Viking, for bringing reality to everyone's confusion. Right. Yeah. So, so Robert's rules only comes in when when something has not been dealt with by a state or convention rule. Yeah. Where they and make up their bylaws and when they make up their bylaws and such, then Robert's rules of order is out of line. Yeah. Out right. of, now, uh, now, some of the state and convention rules will refer to Robert's yeah. rules yeah. and but that then calls them into play. Yeah. But but Robert's rules only comes in when there's a question, when something hasn't been dealt with. Yeah. And then there's a question Robert's rules comes in. And this is um and, and I don't see this being a great problem. We'll 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 get there. David and I'll talk after the show. We're, no we're, talking after the show. Uh, I've already banned no, that. No, no, no. No, you literally will, are not allowed to do that. You, I will have you know, I was the fly on the wall <laughs> while nope. Rhonda was bringing nope. this up to David the State Party Chairman yeah. and was actually taking the position of David Van right here. Yeah. You guys, you got to go. Other hey. people are calling this into question. Listen, so we've I, got, you know, a lot you know of what? things. That working. validates what I'm saying because I'm hey. protecting the authority <laughs> in the office of the county chair. We are, but but this is All coming from, this is coming from the yeah. grassroots. This is coming from the participants, yeah. the individual members who are reporting this to Ron. Rhonda was talking yeah. about all the calls she's been getting. She oh, yeah. She was not talking I'll about her own has. personal view on the issue. She yeah. was talking about the calls she was getting. So right. and we have talked into okay. the weeds yeah. on this one. Okay. Yep. The cattails are growing. Yeah. Now, mind you, cattails <laughs> are very nutritious oh my God. if you get to the roots. So but, as you know. But you have to, you know, yank them out of the mud first. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> Look, I got to crack the whip around here. Yeah, you know, ahead. we know that we're not done because we do we, not talk. Uh, there's no such thing for the audience as us ever talking off air or during the break or <laughs> after the show. We're not allowed. To That's not say. what happens. The audience is here the whole time. And then otherwise we don't do it. And so, uh, uh, so yeah, but no, I appreciate all the vagaries. And the fact that Robert's rules of order is literally a thing. I was right about that. Right. And that is if there, there are no other bylaws or whatever, according to the constitution, am I not correct? Uh, Oldham, that if, if you've not calculated bylaws and et cetera, you are uh, assumed to be operating under Robert's rules of order. Yeah, pretty much. Right. Right. Because the that's where... are the constitution of the party. You're listening to Tommy McKay here, your verbal Viking and host of 3D Politics every Monday night with David Van and David Oldham, uh, uh, the creator of Sooner Politics and the founder and scholar of constitutionalgrounds.com, respectively. Boom. There it is. We're going to let this thing ride us out. We want to thank uh, Rhonda Vilmont Smith for being here on 3D Politics to talk about all about. The Tulsa County GOP chair that she uh, has just won recently. I want to thank uh, David Van for being here tonight and David Oldham also for being here tonight. I want to tell you there's one thing I want to share with you uh, uh, before it all happens and we get out of here. Um, you know, there was a thing recently about uh, who gets to decide that kneeling is a form of disrespect. You know, this is from the, and this is a prayer for respect. Oh. Ask more respect, re, re, resident Judy Seuss. But the thing is for me, uh, is that, uh, 
The question, who gets to decide that kneeling is a form of disrespect? I do. <laughs> kneeling for a political statement at sporting event is disrespectful for the spirit of the game. The fans have paid for the entertainment and a rude non sequitur change of subject without pertinent context relevant to the gathering. Like a heckler that I should recognize as a comedian. Be respectful, you sports players. Score some points. Earn some respect. <laughs> All right. You guys got anything else? Thank God for that. That's it for tonight. 3D politics. We're going to say goodbye to uh, David Oldham. There he goes. David Oldham from constitutionalgrounds.com. And there it goes. David Van from soonerpolitics.org and here I go your fine host find me at verbalviking.com bye bye kiddies we'll see you next week thank you Rhonda Vilma Smith for being here tonight